I want to touch on a, a, a touchy subject between the so-called African Americans, Latinos, and Mexicans that's going on right now. Our people, the so-called African Americans, are going in on the vendors, the street vendors. But I want to show something according to the Bible. Because yeah, we live in the same ghettos. The word ghetto means a place where the Jews reside. Both Latinos, Mexicans, and Native Americans, we all live in the same ghettos. We all hustle in the same spots. Well, today we have our little African American brothers going and beating up our elderly Mexican brothers that's pushing their carts, making their money, right? But that's unfair because if the African Americans were done be, be getting beat up, out here patronizing, like the store right here, say some Latinos came and beat them up. We'd be ready to go shoot and ride, right? But we should be able to do the same thing for all our people, whether African American or Mexican or Latino. Because I'm gonna show you that we were the, we are the same people according to this Bible. That's right. And I want to get that. Let's get it, uh, let's get um let's get Isaiah. I'm gonna get Isaiah right quick because I want to show something. This was something that would happen to, uh, between us as a nation of people because of our disobedience. Now, I'm gonna go here first. I want uh, 2 Chronicles 28 and 8. Because we were the children of Israel and we dwelled together. And coming to America, the 10 tribes came first because they were the first ones that were disobedient against God. Then the, the, the southern kingdom came second because they were disobedient against God. The scripture says that we will be oppressed together. Uh, let's get down, Isaiah 50. Isaiah 50 and 33, right? Yep. I want that first. Because we are indeed being oppressed together. The scripture also showed that we will oppress each other, which I'm going to show y'all. African Americans, Latinos. Oh, no, we need to know. stop doing this. Yeah. yeah. I want that Jeremiah. Yep. Get that Jeremiah first. Because who's oppressing the African American man? So called white man. Who's oppressing the Mexican man? So called white man, right? And then we oppress each other because of the oppression that we're going through and, and we lost our heritage so we don't know who we are today. But read that, go ahead. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. So God gave us a warning. The Lord of hosts is the Most High Yahweh. He said, thus said the children of Israel, so-called African Americans, Latinos and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel that the Bible speaks of, go ahead. And the children of Judah, so he named both tribes, the northern the northern and the southern kingdom. At once we were all one nation, one kingdom. Today we divided the same way, but ain't nothing changed. Go ahead. We're oppressed together. Read that again. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. So we here in America in captivity being oppressed together. So-called African Americans, Latinos, we are brothers according to the Bible. We are brothers according to history. When you look up the Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayans, what color were they? Dark skin? And look at these two brothers. Same complexion, right? But you would say, oh, he's Mexican. Oh, you say he's African American. But they the same complexion. So we gotta stop that divide because of our skin color. Right. Because of how we look. We gotta come to this Bible and find out who we are as a nation of people and stop vexing our own nation of people. So I want to get this other scripture. Because this is one of the things that happened. 2 Chronicles 28 and 8. This is one of the things that happened in biblical time back then. Because we, we still in biblical time. That's the right. Bible is a book of prophecy. And it is irrelevant to us today. Well, go ahead. 28 and 8. Go ahead. Book of 2 Chronicles chapter 28 verse 8. And the, and the children of Israel carried away captive of their brethren. Wait. The Bible said the children of Israel carried away captive their own brothers. Today we got our youngsters beating up our own brothers just from another nation, another tribe. But remember, it's 12 tribes in this Bible. We all don't look alike, but we are of the same nation. So we got to stop the hating on one another. But go ahead. 200,000 women, sons, and daughters, and took also away much spoil from them and brought the spoil to Samaria. Did not, don't this happen? Blacks and Latinos gangbanging, killing each other? We all right. went to the same school. I, I was probably, I'm gonna tell my age by this. Now, before, before the 92 riots happened, in 89 you had the Blacks and Mexican riots start. It started at Washington. This was in 89, it started at Washington Preparatory High School. 
You had the blacks Fred. and the Mexicans going at it. Fred. Right? God. That's when it started. But it's still God. going on strong to this day. But somebody else will say, oh, it started way back when in the Bible. God. Because that's when it really happened. Because of our disobedience. Because we don't want to follow the most high God, our power. We want to do our own thing. So now we out here hurting our brothers. But go ahead. But a prophet of the Lord was there whose name was Odette, and he went out before the host of that of, to Samaria and said unto them, Behold. So this is what we come out here to do. Tell y'all, behold. The African Americans, the Latinos, Native Americans, y'all are the same nation of people. Stop fighting one another. It's right here in the Bible. But go ahead. Because the Lord God of your fathers was wroth with Judah. So the most high he was mad with Judah, the northern, the southern kingdom. Go ahead. He had delivered them into your hand. That's why. Because when the Most High get, get mad at us, He delivered us up to, uh, into captivity to another nation of people. And this, in this case, it was to our own brothers. Go ahead. And ye have slain them in a rage that reacheth up to heaven. So the rage is reaching up to heaven. We got our young African-American brothers and sisters going beating up the Mexican vendors. That's your same people. So we come out here to give y'all that warning. Because we don't need that race war again. It said before it was what? 200,000 that was yep. taken into captivity uh, and uh, killed women, sons, from our yeah, own daughters, nation? Yeah. How are we going to fight against the other nations and we still fighting against our own nation? That's right. That should not be. So if you see young African Americans or young Latinos beating up a vendor from a different tribe, y'all got to stop that. Y'all got to put the DP down like back in the days. Yeah. Put that smash down on your young brothers. Hey, that ain't the way. Because that could be your uncle, your mother, your father somewhere, and they get done up. Because y'all heard of something called karma, right? Everybody believe in it. Whether you believe in it or not, it happens. But go ahead. And now ye purpose to keep under the children of Judah and Jerusalem for bond men and bond women unto you. But are there not with you, even with you, sins against the Lord your God? See, we all have the same God. African Americans, Latinos. We serving the Most High Yahweh, but when we commit sins against our own nation, oh, he's he's so mad at us because now you don't have the nation corrected nation. But go ahead, yeah, I want you to keep going. Now hear me, therefore, and deliver the captives again. He said, set them free. So we out here to tell our African American brothers, young sisters, Latino brothers, don't go and beat up the vendors of your own people. But go ahead, set them free. Go ahead. Which ye have taken captive of your brethren. Of your brethren. He said, man, set them free. Let them do what they got to do to make their money. Because I bet none of y'all have really sat down and looked at how these, these vendors are working twice as hard as you. Because you know they work for the cartel. They don't get all that money that y'all trying to take from them. And what y'all going to do when the cartel come down on your children for beating up them and stopping their money? That's like the drug game. Y'all better stop that. Some expensive lollipops. Yeah, them are some expensive <laughs> lollipops. It's gonna cost you your life because you want to go beat up a vendor that you don't know who's backing him up. The reason why I know this is because I got Mexican homies and they be like, man, you better tell your people whoop 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 whoop. Because that's how it really goes down. That's why you don't see them balling. And they be out there for hours, six o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the afternoon selling ice cream and they still broke. Because they being hustled by their own people. But go ahead. For the fierce wrath of the Lord is upon you. So the wrath of the Lord is going to come upon y'all. And y'all don't want that. So we got to bring peace between our nation. But go ahead. Then certain of the heads of the children of Ephraim. So the heads, the children, the so-called African-American community, the so-called Mexican community. We got to come together and come to a, 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 an agreement to stop all this madness. Because it's going to get bad. But go ahead. Of the children of Ephraim, Azariah, the son of jo, uh, Johanan, Bar, Bar uh, the son, uh, sorry, the son of uh, Mishalamah, Shalamah, and Jehuzikah, jo the son of Shalom, and Amasa, the son of Adah, stood up against them that came from the war. 
So we got to stand up against our people. But read that next verse. We got to stand up against our people that's doing wrong to their own people. But go ahead. And say unto them, ye shall not bring in the captives hither. For whereas we have offended against the Lord already. So we offend against our, our power, the Most High Yahweh, when we do these things to our own brethren. But go ahead. Ye intend to add more to our sins? It's like you're going to add more to our sins? You're already in captivity, not knowing who you are, but now you're going to go beat up your brothers because they seem to be like another nation. Not knowing y'all are the same nation. African Americans, Latinos, y'all are the same people. Why do you think the, the white man put y'all in the same ghetto That's together? Right. The word ghetto means the place where the Jews reside. Right. That's where we reside, the barrios, the ghettos, the hood. But we beating up our own people for no reason. But one of the big reasons is because we don't know who we are as a nation that's of people. Right. We being oppressed by the white man the same way they being oppressed. So that's all of that. Let me get this other one, huh? Nah. Only get this other one. But you can grab a, you can grab a Ezekiel 37 and 24. Let's get to Isaiah 11. In verse 12, 12 and 13. Because this is something that the Most High set up. That's why we out here to preach who we are as a nation of people and stop fighting each other and stop beating up the vendors and stealing and robbing and taking their stuff. Yeah. Go ahead. 11 and verse 12. Read that. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 13. 12. Read that. Isaiah 11, 13. And he shall set up an ensign for the so nation. The Most High going to set up an ensign. That means he going to set up a symbol for the nation of Israel. That's why we out here to talk to the so-called African Americans, the Mexicans, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, and tell you who you are, and tell you to stop fighting your brothers. That's, that's but right. go ahead. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. We are the outcasts of Israel. We are the children of Israel according to the Bible. You are now being prophesied to according to the Bible. So I'm gonna hold that. Let's get uh, Romans 9 and 26. We're going to come back there. Because you are the so-called African-Americans and Latinos. You are indeed the outcast of Israel. And I'm going to show you a prophecy out of the Bible that it said will be taught to us this very day. Said Romans, Romans 9 and 26. Read that. <laughs> Romans, yep. Romans 9 and 26, brother. You got it? Book of Romans chapter 9, verse 26. And it shall come to pass. So today is coming to pass. If you can hear my voice, go ahead. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So here in America, the African Americans, the Latinos, the Native Americans, we were called savages, we were called beasts, we were called thieves. We were not called that's the right. children of God. But let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. There shall thou be called the children of the living God. So you are the children of the living God, Yasha Allah, so-called African Americans, Latinos, Mexicans, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. Right. So let's go back to Isaiah 11 and 12. Because this is the inside right here. Go ahead. And gathered the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall... So the envy... The strife with Ephraim going to cease to stop, which is the southern kingdom. Go ahead. I mean, the northern kingdom. Go ahead. Shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. See? The adversaries of Judah. The so-called white man going to be cut off. But go ahead. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. So who be in the streets together? Who be at the uh, Sunday fun day together? Cruise and slide, low ride. African Americans and Latinos. Wherever you see a low rider, there's a black man in it, you're gonna definitely gonna see a low rider with a, a, a Hispanic in it. They be out there sliding all day, Broadway, Normandy, together. So the most I said this Indian and strife and all that's gonna stop between us, but go ahead. And Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So we ain't gonna vex Ephraim no more. The southern king, I mean the northern kingdom, our Mexican and Latino brothers. We ain't gonna vex them no more. So please, if you see one of the, or if you hear one of your brothers going at these vendors, taking their food and all that, y'all gotta stop that. Y'all gotta put the DP down on them. I got that Proverbs 6. 16, oh. 19, Proverbs 6. 16, and, and they said that's yep. a challenge. They put that on like a social media challenge. Yeah, that ain't, man, say that. That ain't no damn challenge. Yeah. yeah. They said they posted that on social media. That's supposed to be a challenge now to go and beat up vendors. 
And uh, get like the brother said, that's against the scriptures. Because we're all brothers and we're all in this together. That's why right. ain't no challenge to beat up no vendors. The challenge should be to beat y'all asses because y'all going out and causing ruckus that y'all shouldn't be causing. We gotta start DPing our own people and let them know what thus saith the Lord. Because we don't, how are we gonna be arms together and we fighting each other? Because remember back in the day, I'm gonna go back to the 92 riots. Who was out there rioting with us when, it, when Rodney King got his butt beat? You had Latinos out there riding with the African Americans, you had the Brown Berets. Riding with the uh, with the nation of Islam, right? Right. That's and they right. still ride with us today, cause we the same nation of people. Right. So we gotta stop that madness. Uh, let's get Proverbs six and sixteen right quick, cause this is something that the Most High hates amongst our nation. But go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs chapter six, verse sixteen. These six things does the Lord hate. So this is something that the Most High hates. He hates when we, as a nation, are at, at, at each other's throat. But go ahead. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So that's something he hates. Detestable. It's an abomination to the Lord. Go ahead. A proud look. A proud look. We be acting like we hard against our own brothers. Can't even say what's up to him. But go ahead. And lying tongue. They be lying on each other. But go ahead. And hands that shed innocent blood. He hate that. Y'all shedding innocent blood when y'all go fight your own people. Stop fighting the street vendors. Them is your people. God hate hands that shed innocent blood and you will be the one getting put to death and everybody gonna be like, oh man, he was a good kid. Because y'all ain't say nothing, he got put to death. But knowing that he wasn't a good kid. That's how they left that thing, man. Man, that's tore up, huh? We can't have this no more. I wish y'all could see it on the camera. They beat up a street vendor. Can't do that no more. 80 years old, huh? 80 year old man. Sad. But Jake's gotta stop doing it. So let's let's get uh let's get let's oh finish go ahead. A lion tongue and, uh, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow discord among brethren. So the most I got he hates people that sow discord amongst brethren. African Americans, Latinos, and the Mexicans and the Native Americans. We are indeed brothers. So y'all got to stop sowing discord of one, one, uh, amongst one another. Because we are a nation. We are a family. The Bible says that the Most High going to raise up as, us up as an exceeding great army. Let's get that in uh, Ezekiel 37. Shalom, brother. Yep, let's start at verse 21. Ezekiel 37 and verse 21. Read that. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel have profaned among the heathen. See, the Most High, he has pity on his holy name. He calls us after him, Yasha Allah, Prince of Power. That's who we are. But go ahead. Whether they went, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus said the Lord, God, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye win. So the most high he gonna bring it together because his promise that he made to himself and to us. But go ahead. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them. And the, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God, which I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Yep, he's going to sanctify us before our enemies. But go ahead. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries. So the Most High is going to take us, the nation of Israel, from among all the heathen, all the countries. As the Bible says that we are scattered around the four corners of the earth, right? But go ahead. And we'll bring you into your own land. So we're going we gonna to go back to our own land as one nation. But go ahead. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. From all of your filthiness and from all of your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. So the Most High is going to take all the stoniness all the wickedness away from us and give us a heart of flesh. Verse 2. It caused it caused me to pass by them around and about 
And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he's talking about us being a dry nation of people because we didn't know who we are. Go ahead. And he said it to me, son of man, can they can these bones live? He talking about the nation of Israel. Because you're the walking dead if you don't know who you are, you don't know who your power is from. So we are indeed walking dead. But go ahead. And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. So the most high God, he's going to cause breath to enter into us as a nation of people. But let's see who he's talking about. And ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you. So he's going to lay sinews on us. Go ahead. And will bring up, I will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and I, as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Verse 8, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them. So the flesh is coming back up on us as a nation of people. Because when you don't know who you are as a nation of people, the brother earlier, he said he was black. And the brother asked him, he said, where can you find the nation of black at? But you got a Black Lives Matter hat on, you got a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on. He was like, I don't know. So show me where the nation of black is at. You will never find it. But you will find the nation of Israel, which is our true nationality. African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans. That's your nationality. Go ahead. You are a Hebrew Israelite according to this Bible. Go ahead. And the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. See, we breathe it on the slain right now that y'all may live. Y'all don't know that y'all slain because y'all don't know that y'all in captivity. The Most High God, he brought us over here on cargo slave ship to be killed by our enemy, which is a so-called white man, according to the Bible. But go ahead. Verse 10, So I prophesied as, as he commanded, Commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. See, the Most High said we gonna live as an exceeding great army. So we can't be fighting one another. We gotta stop all that madness. Let's get Titus uh, chapter three, three and one, because this is what we have to do. This is why we come out here to tell our brothers, hey man, stop fighting the Latinos, the Native Americans, and the Mexicans. And we are indeed the same nation of people. We had that war before, and we don't need it right now. Right. Especially at a time like this, where prophecy is being fulfilled at an alarming rate. Yep, yeah, right there. All right, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna say this: Titus three and one. Hey, is it that after James? Huh? That's right there after after Timothy. Because this is something we're supposed to do, y'all. Go ahead. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities. So we got to tell our brothers to be mind and subject to principalities. The Bible is our book of law, statutes, and judgment. Go ahead. And powers to obey magistrates. So this is how we're going to live. This is how we're going to govern ourselves. As African Americans and Latinos and Native Americans and Mexicans, according to the Bible, we're not going to fight one another. Go ahead. To be ready to every good work. To be ready to every good work. To be ready to defend your brother and not be hating on him. Go ahead. Verse 2. To speak evil of no man. To, don't, to not speak evil of him. Go ahead. To be no brawlers. To be no brawlers. We're not going to fight our people. Go ahead. But gentle. Showing all meekness unto all men. So we're going to be gentle, showing meekness to all men. And we're going to check our brothers and sisters when they go off. And go off and beat up the vendors. Vice versa, either nation. That's what we're going to do. And I say, call them, y'all show